On September 1st, 1859, the most powerful solar storm in recorded history hits Earth, causing telegraph wires to spark and catch fire, northern lights to appear as far south as the Caribbean, and some telegraph operators to receive electric shocks. If this happened today, it would cripple our modern world, potentially causing trillions of dollars in damage and collapsing power grids for years. Hey, I'm Michael from Hoodie History, and today I'm exploring the day our sun almost knocked humanity back to the Stone Age. So in 1859, the telegraph is the cutting-edge technology connecting the world. It's like the internet of the 19th century, the first time humans can communicate instantly across vast distances. Telegraph lines stretch across continents, connecting cities and enabling modern commerce. On August 28, 1859, amateur astronomer Richard Carrington is observing the sun through his telescope when he sees something incredible, a brilliant white light erupting from the solar surface. He's just witnessed the most powerful solar flare in recorded history. What Carrington doesn't know is that he's watching the sun launch a massive burst of charged particles directly at Earth. This coronal mass ejection is traveling through space at millions of miles per hour, and it's about to hit our planet like an electromagnetic sledgehammer. The solar storm reaches Earth on September 1st, and the effects are immediate and terrifying. Telegraph systems worldwide start malfunctioning. In Boston, telegraph operators receive electric shocks. In Washington, D.C., a telegraph operator is knocked unconscious by a surge of electricity. But here's where it gets really weird. Some telegraph lines keep working even after their power sources are disconnected. The solar storm is generating so much electrical activity in Earth's atmosphere that it's powering the telegraph system directly. Operators in Portland, Maine in the US successfully send messages to Boston using only the electricity from the storm. Telegraph wires spark and catch fire. Telegraph offices burn down. In London, telegraph engineers are baffled as their equipment goes haywire for hours. Messages are garbled or impossible to send. The visual effects are even more spectacular. The Aurora Borealis, Northern Lights, appear as far south as the Caribbean and Rome. But here's the scary part. If the Carrigan event happened today, it would be catastrophic. Our entire civilization depends on electronic systems that didn't exist in 1859. Satellites would be fried, GPS would fail, power grids would collapse, and the internet would probably go dark. The scary thing is that solar storms this powerful happen roughly every 150 to 500 years, which means we're probably due for another one. The Carrington event was a wake-up call that our technological civilization is more fragile than we like to think. The sun giveth, and the sun can taketh away.